Hi, I'm James Bruce from MakeUseOf.com and today we're going to talk about three different ways you can connect your Raspberry Pi to a monitor or TV. Now yes, I did say three different ways, even though on a device you're only going to find an HDMI port and on the earlier models you'll find an RCA or composite port although this isn't even there on the latest Raspberry Pi 2. So how can we possibly have three different ways to connect something? So let's take a look at those three different ways. Number one, of course, it's got HDMI. Pretty much any computer monitor and any modern TV is gonna come with an HDMI port. So immediately you can plug your little Raspberry Pi into any of those. Sadly, not all televisions or monitors will have an HDMI port, particularly if they're a bit older. So, what are you supposed to do if your display doesn't have an HDMI port? Well, then your second option is to use an HDMI to VGA converter cable. You can get these off of Amazon for less than $6. However, you will also need to make a minor change to the config.txt file that the Raspberry Pi reads from when it boots. So using a memory card reader on your PC or laptop, plug in the SD card and look for the config.txt file. You're looking for the HDMI force hot plug equals one line and HDMI drive equals two. Both of them will have a little hash, a pound sign at the start of the lines. Those comment it out so it doesn't work. What you wanna do is delete that hash sign, the pound sign, and then they'll be active. Save that and restart to be able to use the VGA connection. Now this will default to 640x480, but if you want to enable a higher resolution if your display supports it, just change the HDMI group to two and also enable the line that says HDMI mode equals four. Change that to 16. When you're done, unmount the SD card from your PC, put it back into your Pi, plug in the connector and bam, you're done. It should output to VGA. Your third and final option is to use the RCA or otherwise known as a composite output. So available only on the first generation models A and B, the RCA port is pretty obvious. It's a big yellow thing, which you've probably seen on one of your older consoles. Then you can just use a standard AV composite cable. Pretty much every TV will have this. Note that on the Raspberry Pi model B plus and two, this port was actually removed, but it was replaced by something a little bit different that can still be used as the same thing. The stereo port was changed into a Magic AV port. So if you have a special four pin adapter, you can break out that stereo port into the analog left, right, and composite output and use it that way. But that does require another little adapter. Lastly, a quick note on screen resolution. Regardless of what output method you chose, you may find that the screen resolution is set too high and you can't see everything fully on your TV. In that case, you'll need to change the resolution. For instance, if your monitor has a resolution that's too low, you may need to toggle on the overscan option. Anyway, this is pretty easy. Open up the terminal command line and type sudo raspy config. Then use the arrow keys to select overscan from the advanced menu and disable or enable it to suit your monitor. Lastly, don't forget that you don't actually need to connect a monitor at all. If you plug it into the network, then you can log into your Pi remotely using another computer. By default, this will only give you a terminal command line. But if you do some setup first, which we'll cover in another video, you can actually get a desktop from the Pi onto another computer over the network. Anyway, let us know in the comments your thoughts on this. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more weekly giveaways, tutorials, and more from all of us at makeuseof.com. Thanks for watching.